Okay, let's talk enemies to lovers. Because story time, I went to Target today and this bad boy was 20% off. So naturally I picked it up and spent the whole day binging it rather than doing any actual work. And it was good. As a fellow author, I will never disparage another author's work unless it offends someone or hurts someone because that stuff is hard to write. And this was good. I enjoyed the story, I enjoyed the characters, it made me want to read the second book. However, however, it brought up something that I do want to kind of talk rant about and I guess advice for fellow authors trying to do an enemies to lovers trope. PSA for anyone who's trying to do enemies to lovers trope, because I think it's a great trope, I will eat that stuff up all the time. But if you want to do enemies to lovers, you can't be afraid to make them hate each other. I want to buy into the hate between these two characters. I want them to be 100% on opposite sides. That way we can buy it more as their romance builds, as they slowly change to be on each other's side. And I know it's a hot take, but like forced enemies to lovers, it's not enemies to lovers. It's still a good trope, but it's not enemies to lovers. And so you get books like this where you're you can tell they're trying to do an enemies to lovers trope, but it's kind of not necessarily working because they're not on opposite sides. And so then you just get one character who's just grumpy all the time. And it ends up working with these characters because they, you buy into their characters starting to fall for each other. But it's hard to buy into their romance at the beginning because it's not the enemies to lovers trope that is clearly trying to be pushed on us there. So I guess long story short, enemies to lovers, love it, but don't force the trope on us if they're not actually enemies. That's it. Book rant over. Sabuna.